Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of October 2017. If you're interested in any private consultations or any of the services that I provide, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get uh, to this. Let's see what Spirit has for you, Scorpios. Spirits, what are the messages for Scorpios for the month of October 2017? Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios? For the month of 2017. Okay, I think this is going to be my last shuffle. One more. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Scorpios. The first card is the Four of Cups, the Judgment card, the Ace of Cups, uh, sorry, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Star card, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Coins, the Seven of Wands, Eight of Coins, Ace of Cups, I knew you guys were going to get the Ace of Cups. Not sure why, but we'll get into that. The Moon card and the Ten of Swords. So for your general energies, wow, Scorpios, you guys have three Aces. You have the Ace of Swords. Okay, Scorpios, for the month of October, the general energies is the Ace of Swords. Try the best you can to maintain a very clear, uh, speak your mind, be very clear when communicating. Uh, there is a higher need for truthfulness, whether it's the people that you deal with or whether it's you, how you communicate. Always choose to be truthful and honest. Be upfront and um, try the best you can to be tactful in the way you express yourself. But more than anything, um, with the Ace of Swords, there's a need for clarity or there's a need for truthfulness. Sometimes it can speak to us on a spiritual level. We need to be more in tune with ourselves and with our truth. Um, you know, try the best you can not to lead people into believing that you are a certain way. You have to resonate with, with, with what is true to you and be yourself. Ultimately, at the end of the day, people have to accept you for who you are or choose not to be around you. Nonetheless, you're not putting a front. You're not pretending to be something that you're not. I know Scorpios have no problem whatsoever in that area, but for some reason, for the month of October, there's going to be a need of uh, being bold in the way you express yourself and not suppressing any feelings, okay? Now, moving forward, you have the Four of Cups here. So the Four of Cups is definitely missing out on an opportunity or not being thankful is what I'm hearing. Um, so you might have been dealing with circumstances, whether it's finances or whether it's in relationships. I think it's more to do with relationships where uh, sometimes we tend to take for granted the people that are there for us, the people that guide us. Try the best you can not to be so judgmental of your partner. You have the judgment card here. The judgment card can represent the past, but I feel that this is actually coming out uh, for you guys. This is the energy you're taking on. You're judging people or being very quick to judge someone or even express. So here's two things. With the Ace of Swords, there's a, there's a need to speak up when you, when you have to speak up and being honest. But then the judgment can also be you judging other people very quickly. Again, going back to the communication with the Ace of Swords, sometimes there are situations where you speak, um, you speak very, you don't really think about what you're going to say, you just say it. So you have to be very watchful of that, okay? And try the best you can not to judge people very harshly because you need to take a look at yourself. You need to go within yourself and truly analyze what what is it that triggers you what is it that really upsets you um and why it's uh, why is it upsetting you is it an example if you don't get along with the person is it because you're quick you're judging them very quickly or is it because you're you're mirroring 
a lot of the a lot of the characteristics remind you of yourself and it's issues or blockages that you're not wanting to see it's very difficult to say you know we have to look at ourselves in the mirror and truly analyze uh, how we come off to other people so again there is a need to speak up and say your truth when when the moment is right but judgment card here is also advising you try the best you can not to judge very harshly and to truly analyze those people that are around you that there may be some miscommunication or misunderstandings what is it that triggers you about them is it just is it them or is it really you it, it, do they possess something that perhaps you lack whether it's confidence whether it's um having no problem to communicate their emotions what is it that really triggers you and ultimately looking into that perhaps you'll come to the conclusion that they just remind you of you or you may have a lot of similarities and that's the reason why uh, they pretty much get under your skin okay so try the best you can again like I said not to be so judgmental for the month of October now you do have again like I said three aces so there's definitely new beginnings here for you guys you have the Ace of Wands here. So the Ace of Wands is definitely talking about an opportunity uh, to either spice up, uh, spice up your life when it comes to relationships, or it could be an opportunity, uh, a work opportunity, where you're able to make more money and finances can grow. You have the Queen of Swords next to the Ace of Wands. So again, like I said, there's a need uh, for there's a new beginning coming towards you guys for the month of October, the first week of October. Uh, but this Queen of Swords, I feel that this is your energy, Scorpio. Um, and again, the Queen of Swords could be very, very blunt, very cutthroat when communicating, when expressing themselves. They can come off very cold um, and they could be a little bit spiteful. So try the best you can not to resonate uh, or not to... Um, Try the best you can not to uh, delve too much into your shadow side, Scorpios, because I know Scorpios could be very sneaky and uh, tend to be a little bit spiteful when, when there's anger or agitation there. So try the best you can to be practical about certain things, whether it's on your everyday type of mundane things or whether it's, um, you know, transformations and changes that are coming in. Again, like I said, there's a lot of beginnings for you, Scorpios. Uh, because you do have three aces here in this reading. Now, you do have the star card. The star card is being able to pull out through a difficult situation, whether it was, um, whether it has to do with health, health issues. For some of you guys, um, in the past, you guys were, uh, could have had some type of um, health issues, could have been having to do with headaches. Um, it could have something to do with uh, maybe some of you guys even thinking or actually going under the knife and trying to recuperate from that there's definitely healing energy here with the star card now you do have the six of swords the six of swords is being able to move forward to calmer waters more stability uh, you're going to uh, the six of swords is here and you're going towards this nine of pentacles so abundance and stability whether it's um, thinking of movement or actually taking the steps to move out to get your own place um there's there's definitely for some of you guys it could be change of residency uh you know moving somewhere else to a new city new city or something like that now you do have the seven of wands here and the seven of wands is advising you scorpios um if you do decide to move make sure not to do it in such a rush try the best you can to um take your time with these type of changes in life uh the reason i say that is because the seven of wands definitely talks about feeling like you have to protect yourself or you're on the defense um so the feeling of wanting to move the feeling of wanting to start anew probably has to do with the fact that you feel like you have to where you're at at the present time you kind of have to watch what you're doing or protect yourself um but this is more of you emotionally. This is more how you feel emotionally wise. So it's like you kind of feel like people are out to get you or people are not being truthful or honest with you. Again, going back to the judgment, try the best you can to see things in a clear perspective. Don't be very quick to judge and don't be very quick to make irrational decisions based off emotions. 
um, I do see stability, but again, with the Seven of Wands, uh, try the best you can to keep yourself from making major expenses at the current time um, and save up more than anything. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands, I uh, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is talking about working towards a goal, working towards uh, commitment, working towards understanding of the partnership that you're in. For those of you guys, uh, maybe you guys are partnered up with a water sign, another water sign like yourself. So it would be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Or for some of you guys, it could be an air sign because the queen here, the queen of swords. So an air sign would be a Libra, an Aquarius, or, sorry guys, uh, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Now, I do see the moon here and the ten of swords. So, and it's next to the Ace of Cups. So, the Moon card is all about the unknown, the hidden. Um, and with the Ten of Swords, I feel that whatever it is you feel or you've been feeling in the relationship that you're in or in your partnership, you've been feeling like there's some type of uncertainty or there are certain things that perhaps are not out in the open. Um, and this ultimately has to do with the fact of the moon can also represent uh, the current influences of, you know, astrology, uh, what's going on at the present time. Sorry, guys, uh, my phone keeps going off. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so the moon has to do with, again, like I said, uh, what's going on in the cosmos at the present time. But with the ten of swords, there's definitely an ending here and there's an ending to struggle or to um, unclarity. Now, you do have the ace, the, the eight of uh, pentacles, the ace and the moon. So this particularly at the end of the month, uh, you're going to be able to be on the same page with your partner and move forward, um, putting effort um, for some of you guys. Your partner is actually working a lot or investing a lot of their time um, in practical matters with finances and work. Again, could be overtime, could be uh, having a lot of like not being able to spend a lot of quality time with them and it has to do again like i said with what's going on right now um but i feel that this is going to be ending by the end of october your partner may have more time to uh give to you um the time of restraint for them with the ten of swords is ending so they're going to have more time, more time to play, more time to go out, more time to, you know, spend quality time together. Um, I do see, because you do have three aces here, there's new beginnings uh, for you guys, but there's a lot of newness to this. So for some of you guys, it could be that you rec recently got into a relationship with the Ace of Cups. Um, the Ace of Wands is the, ign the igniting of passions and the coming together, uh, you know, being able to grow stronger as you progress throughout the month of October. Um, again, for some of you guys, it could be uh, the representation of new beginnings. Again, like I said, having to do with residency and moving uh, or travels because you do have the Six of Swords and the Star card together. And then you have Abundance, which is the Nine of Coins. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, Scorpios that are single, you may be dealing with an air sign that's coming in. Uh, this person, uh, again, like I said, Libra, Aquarius, um, or Gemini. Um, this person that's coming in is definitely going to be, it, there's going to be a very passionate, intense type of physical attraction to one another. Um, and I do see it progressing now. With the seven under the queen of, of swords, uh, just know and understand, again, the judgment. Try the best you can not to judge this person if they come off a little bit cold or if they come off like um, a little bit standoffish. Try not to judge them. Allow them to warm up to you. The seven of wands could be representing this queen of swords uh, that has been through difficulties. It could be both male or female. It doesn't have to be female. It is a general reading. Um, and it could be that they've been through very difficult situations that at this point in the present, they're very guarded. So again, like I said, try the best you can to let them warm up to you, to be able to open up and, um, really get to get, really get a, a vibe for their person, their personality, etc. Now, uh, again, like I said, if you are dealing with an air sign or an Aquarius in particular, because the star card is here as well. 
Um, I do see this, uh, the beginning stages of getting to know someone or actually, you know, going out and, and, and dating. But I definitely do see that there's going to be some type of uncertainty attached to this person. So it could be that either this person is, or you feel that you're unclear in regards to are they really single? Uh, are they hiding anything from me? You do have the ace and then the nine of coins. So this is telling me that this person is in fact single. So for some of you guys, you may notice that throughout the month of October, you may experience uh, red flags in a way if you're dealing with this air sign where perhaps um, things are kind of pointing out to maybe this person is attached, but in fact they are single because the nine of coins is uh, crowning the moon. Um, and again, the nine of the nine of coins is definitely the, the, the singlehood type of energy, the singlehood card. So again, uh, you will be moving from these stages. I do see a, a few blockages that could happen for you, Scorpios. Uh, for one of them, it could be that you are very judgmental and you judge a person very quickly without really giving them the opportunity to warm up to you because the four of cups is definitely talking about missing out on an opportunity. So like I said, try the best you can not to be very judgmental. Um, the other blockage could be miscommunication. So make sure to, um, when communicating, communicate with a clear mind, not because you're emotionally attached to the situation, because you might say things or express certain things that come off the wrong way. You didn't mean them that way, or perhaps you meant them in that moment, but then later on you regret. So try the best to keep that um, in check, Scorpios. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And we will see you from each other the middle of the month of October for the love readings. Okay? Bye.